Hello, Pisces. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support. And I send it right back to you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. This reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for sign of Pisces? Please and thank you. Messages for sign of Pisces. You know, I have this uh, candle going and the flames have been dancing. I'm definitely getting like a cause for celebration for someone here. We got a crown chakra coming through. Spiritual um, divine intervention, spiritual um, interve intervention and guidance in a particular situation. Gaining some sort of knowledge, giving and receiving, and coming together. Let me, I want to uh, tap more into this uh, crown chakra message. Hold on, let me see. Okay, the chakra is in the back. Then put the chakras in the back. <clears throat> so the crown chakra is located at the top of the head and it's been called the thousand pellet or pelleted lotus or the receiver of light. This chakra is the center of your link to, uh, with the universe, the in infinite and your higher consciousness. It's the connection between wisdom and spiritual insight. The crown center is the area where ethereal light, I, I probably didn't say that right, ethereal <laughs> um, light and energy are received and then dispersed throughout your aura for total well-being. To enhance this chakra, sit quietly and visualize a lotus bud at the top of your head. As the bud blossoms, see a shower of whitish, violet, sparkling light shining down from the universe onto the lotus, filling and nourishing it. When complete, simply let the vision fade. Expanding this chakra opens you to receiving the ultimate bliss, divine love. Take comfort in knowing that you are cherished. So a lot of you guys are about to be receiving like a lot more help, uh, even gifts. But I'm definitely getting like coming together. Some of you guys, it is a uh, love as well, a spiritual union for someone here. But I'm also getting that you guys will begin to feel more loved and cherished and appreciated by the people that um, you surround yourself with or just more people coming into your life that you do feel valued by. You guys won't feel like you're the only one giving in a particular situation or in the relationships in your life. You'll feel like your relationships are more balanced. Some of you guys will find yourself in a connection where the both of you attract a lot of people uh, towards you. You both have this healing energy, and so it attracts a lot of people around you or to you, to the both of you. So it's like the people coming towards you may not have as much to give as you do or your significant uh, counterpart has to give, but they give as much as they can. However, that resonates for you. So we have the five of charisma. So the five of pentacles, you guys may feel like you're struggling financially or you're left out in the cold. You don't have much uh, support, which is affecting your, uh, your current state of stability at this moment. Queen of uh, charisma, queen of pentacles. So the thing is, is that you guys want to... Uh, offer a sense of comfort and stability to other, but it looks like you're saying to yourself, how can I do this for other people where I can't even do it for myself? Queen of intelligence. So the queen of swords here is your outcome. Why is the queen of swords here the outcome? Seven of strength. <clears throat> 
So seven of wands and the nine of wisdom. And nine of wisdom is a nine of cups. So with the queen of swords here, the queen of swords talks about establishing boundaries, having the wisdom, having wisdom as well. Um, also like the queen of uh, swords through her knowledge and her experience with relationships with people, she has the wisdom to see certain traits within people, which gives her the upper hand, um, which gives her the ability to see the, the best approach to take in order to get the outcome she desires out of a particular situation. Be because I see, although you may have like um, obstacles, you may have challenges that are being presented to you, but you possess the wisdom to get the outcome that you desire out of this situation. Because with the Nine of Cups, You'll be happy. You'll be really proud of yourself and what you have accomplished. You'll you'll feel like a wish has been granted after a hard one, a hard one victory. Five of strength. So the five of swords. So your advice is not to fight with um, certain people, but to work together with them work together towards a common goal to figure out how to work with some, uh, some people here. So that's why it's like people coming together and using their resources in order to achieve something here. Realizing that you possess certain abilities in order uh, to achieve something, but your abilities are limited to you and other people have different abilities that can um, also put towards a specific outcome that you desire. The Knight of Charisma, which is the Knight of Pentacles here. So something may take time for you to achieve, but it'll be well worth it in the end because it's leading you towards the Ten of Pentacles here. Building some sort of legacy for yourself, uh, building um, some sort of foundation that's going to be long lasting, that can stand the test of times. The Knight of Pentacles is also a wish fulfillment card, but the wish, and you have two wish uh, fulfillments here with the Knight. With the Nine of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. But the Knight of Pentacles talks about, and again, this is just clarifying because with the Seven of uh, Wands attached to the Nine of uh, Cups, so your wish fulfillment is attached to you overcoming some sort of challenging position or challenging situation um, where you felt like you were being challenged by other people or just a situation that you feel like was not working in your favor that you had to fight for, you had to fight to get the outcome that you wanted. Now, the Knight of Pentacles talks about a wish fulfillment, but that wish fulfillment comes with hard work as well. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for me. Six of Pentacles here. Again, give and take. So something will pay off for you in the end. And then the king of strength. Using your knowledge, using um, the wisdom that you've gained throughout your life. Not the, the king of strength is the king of wands. So whatever action that you're taking, it will pay off for you. You may feel like you have to put a lot of hard work towards something on your own, but you will have some sort of support here and your actions will not be in vain. It's bringing you to a place where you can give without worrying so much as to what you have left for yourself.
What is this Five of Pentacles about? Why the Five of Pentacles? Age of, or Ace of Wisdom. I always want to say Age of Wisdom. Ace of Cups and the Knight of Strength. So Knight of Wands. So being emotionally invested in some sort of new beginning. Some sort of good news that is headed your way, but you've been waiting for this opportunity to be presented to you. I'll definitely see you acting on it. You could have people like trying to talk you out of something or trying to just work against you, but they won't be successful. One more for the Queen of Pentacles. The star. Yes. And the lovers. It's like everyone's racing to the finish line. But you're teaching people the right way to do something. Like people definitely look to you for advice and guidance when it comes to um, how to approach life, how to approach challenging situations. People do look to you for advice and guidance. Even if they don't say so, it's just the way you conduct yourself, the way you handle situations in your life. You inspire other people to do the same in order to like turn their life around for the better. The thing is, is that I'm getting that you're so used to people working against you, but you're being put in a situation where you'll, you're actually going to work with people in order to accomplish something. Yeah, 10 of charisma in order to accomplish this 10 of pentacles. You're being guided towards the 10 of pentacles, but you're not going to have to do this on your own. Building a legacy for yourself. Building long-term stability for yourself, your family. And doing it the right way with the Knight of Pentacles. Whatever you're building for yourself here, it's going to pay off for you big time. Financially and in regards to your family, friendships. But like whatever you're building for yourself, you're not the type of person to only take yourself into consideration. Every time you're working towards something, you always take into consideration how it's going to affect the people that you love. So it looks like you've been working at something, but you haven't just been doing it for yourself. You've been doing it to benefit all the people within your life that you care about that you love, like wanting to be that type of support system where you can give to people who may not have as much as you, the people in your life. It could also be people that, like strangers, people that you don't know, but I definitely see like you're working hard to place yourself in this position where you can offer a helping hand to other people who may not have as much as you do without feeling like you're going to be struggling if you were to give someone some like some money or to do something for someone. The crazy part is like, it seems like as you were dealing, like you could have been dealing with one, one situation that was um, working against you. And then while you're trying to deal with this situation, you have something else coming towards you that you got to handle. So it's like, it felt like it was never ending. Like you, you never got a break or you couldn't catch a break. I definitely see you turning your back on any sort of situation that has caused you like a lot of mental stress. So 
someone wants to get on the same page, I see like, what is this commitment about? So someone is about to confess something, either that they once be in a relationship with you or is someone that you are in a relationship with. Let me see. About to explode. You've been like you've been protected from this person because they've been playing games and now this person wants to get on the same page. They're about to explode, about to ex like express how they feel because they can't hold it in anymore. And I'm getting that. I'm getting, you don't know how to feel about this person, but I'm getting that they've been trying to like pour their attention elsewhere in order not to focus on you. Yeah, this is, whoever this is, they could have ghosted you. Like they play this game, but then you actually cut them off. You actually blocked them. So they were playing around, but you were serious. And they could be lying to themselves like, oh, Pisces, they'll eventually come back around like thinking no yeah no this is someone i it's like even if you still feel this magnetic attraction or pull towards them you still are just you're letting this go no matter how you feel you're letting it go but the more you pull away from this person the more this person desires to be with you What's the most likely outcome in this situation? What's the most likely outcome? Happiness. And so you will be ha happily single. You're not going to be with this person, whoever this is. Um, what about new love? Who can Pisces expect to come towards them regarding love? Oh, some of you guys could end up finding out uh, that someone is on the down low. So someone that at some point you were interested in, you will get the, like, receive some sort of sign that they're actually on the down low, that they've been lying about their sexuality as well. That's why you will just be like, okay, I'm completely done with this. Okay, what what about new love for Pisces, please and thank you. New love for Pisces. I definitely see like you continuing to focus on your finances at this time. A lot of you guys, it's hard for you to even focus on love at this time because you have so much going on. Like you have a lot of responsibilities here. And I, I'm not like you're not going to give anyone that much attention until you know that is genuine love, like you know for sure. But you are attracting your divine masculine if you're a divine feminine, or if you're this divine masculine, I definitely see you working on yourself to attract this unconditional love. But right now, I definitely see like you guys just focusing on your finances. Um, instead of love at this time until the right person comes towards you. Yeah. You, the, the main issue with you, Pisces, is that you, have, you haven't met your divine counterpart yet. You haven't. And a lot of you guys are well aware of that because the way it looks like people are approaching you is coming from a very lustful type of energy. It's not the type of energy that you desire. Like you want a, a real connection. You want someone that you can have a great conversation with, someone that you connect with on every level, emotionally, intellectually, sexually. It's, you want that person that you can connect with on every level. You don't want someone just looking at you um, from the perspective of how good you are in bed or just having sex with you. You don't want that type of energy 
coming towards you or you're not entertaining that type of energy. And until like the right person comes towards you, you're going to continue to focus on your finances. I do. Let me see. Because <clears throat> I, I definitely want to see. Dive a little bit more into new love for you guys. Can you give a message about new love coming towards Pisces? Any new love coming towards Pisces? So it's, it's just, there are some things that will take place in your life before the right time for love to come in. But there are some things that needs to be removed out of your life that needs to be um, restored in your life. There are things that still have to take place before love can come in. So I'm sorry, you guys, but it's not giving me any love. It definitely will be someone completely new. It's not someone that you know. I am getting at least that, but it's definitely going to be a little bit more time before someone here gets the love that they are truly deserving and looking for. Because it's just some things that you need to work through on your own. And I'm not just getting spiritually. It's just like things being built up in your life. Things being taken out of your life. It's just changes taking place before love can enter in. But I'm going to leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you guys at this time. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment if this reading resonates. With that being said, you all take care.